the uh, Roseanne Inn Hotel. I'm just waiting for the pickup to go to Kennedy Space Center. Okay, here we are at Kennedy Space Center. Let's go in. Let's do some science, bitches. I've seen pictures of this place when it opened in August of 1967. Back then, the entrance was around the corner where you're going to see the big NASA logo. Standing there back then were a couple of these rockets. Over the years, we added to the collection and we moved them over here to create the rocket garden. It's been remodeled a couple of times over the decades. Right now, we're moving our astronaut hall of fame from across the river over here for a new attraction called Heroes and Legends, which is scheduled to open sometime in November. Behind me is where the NASA bus tour leads from. Uh, every 15 minutes, buses depart from there. All right, one of the first things we learned in Florida is don't stand around outside unless you have to. So we'll head on over this way underneath the uh, replica of the fuel tanks here. Lattice. Because uh, as you can see, especially when you look underneath it, there are not a lot of flat surfaces, right? Everything's sort of got a little bit of a curve or something in it. This is the second time I've seen the um, Atlantis, Atlantis reveal, uh, and it still takes your breath away. If you're not into size, it's still amazing. Piloting the shuttle. It's not really, of course, it's a simulation, but uh, pretty cool. Okay, we're now going to head out uh, to the Saturn V area with a 45 minute um, coach ride. That's the FFT shuttle bay. Fantastic. And then 525 feet or 160 meters high. Look to the far right. See the three towers on one side, two on the other. That is launching pad 40, where, over a couple of weeks ago, the SpaceX rocket exploded from that launching pad. Here last year, last May, when we were doing the uh, trip from New York down to Miami, we, we stopped by here on the way down to Miami. We were so lucky we got a rocket launch here, uh, which you need to see my video, USA Southern Explorer. But uh, this is the vehicle assembly building. We've along there's a new rocket pad. Rocket pad. Launch pad 39A. Nice little breeze here today. Actually, it's not actually too hot. I mean, it's hot, of course, it's hot. It's Florida, but it's actually not as hot as it usually is. It's a 
big rocket. That little bit of moon rock is 3.7 billion years old and older than pretty much 98% of all the rocks on Earth. How many days does it take to get to the moon? Three days. Conversely, how many days does it take to get back? Three days. That's a total round trip of how many days? Six days. Can you imagine that? I'm heading back to the visitor complex. I'm going to see one of the IMAX films again. I never saw them last year. So. Okay, uh, this way. I also think it's pretty exciting. So let me show you some of the things that NASA has been working on over the past few years to help get us into space safely. So we'll upload a couple of slides so you've got something interesting to look at while I tell you about the things that have been going on at the Kennedy Space Center since we retired the space shuttle program in 2011. to the future. We're just going up to the Memorial uh, Park, which I think is very important when you're trying to do endeavours and push the human spirit further on. You take sacrifices by brave people, trying to make that dream come reality. I'm going to read this plaque actually. When mankind has sought to conquer new frontiers, there have been those who have given their lives for the cause. This astronaut's memorial dedicated May the 9th, 1991, is a tribute to American men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice, believing the conquest of space is worth the risk of life. As everyone knows, I'm really interested in the um, concept of space exploration. I've just realised this is the fourth year I've come to Kennedy Space Center in a row. Not intentionally or anything. A little bit. Um, it's interesting. But it's always something new to see. Okay. So, you know, sit in a shuttle. So I hope you've enjoyed a little tour of Kennedy Space Centre. Um, I've loved it, always do. Tomorrow we're going to go and see some alligators.